Hey everybody, it's Joel Toppin here. I got a package in the mail this week from GMT Games, and this has got Holland 44 in it. I've been looking for this one uh, for a while now. This is by Mark Simonich. Gotta love all of his games. He's the designer of the Caucasus Campaign, Normandy 44, France 40, Ardennes 44, Ukraine 43, and now Holland 44, Operation Market Garden. So, awesome cover art. Love the cover art on this one. But let's go ahead and take a look inside the box, see what we got here. GMT baggies, love these things. Got a couple dice. Game was packed by Deb. Thank you, Deb. Uh-oh. Well, you never want to see these slips of paper. Uh, errata. All right, small amount of errata. Looks like about an inch worth. Rules of play. And it is on the glossy paper. We're weighing in about 40-ish pages. So it looks to be about you know, similar lengths to Normandy 44, I would say. Uh, well, actually, looking at the core rules, it might be shorter than that. This might be more along the lines of France 40. This is the, I, I believe, going to use the Zoc Bonds. So if you're familiar with that concept, uh, this game, I believe, implements that idea which is kind of a cool idea. So there you go. Looks like, yeah, it looks like the core rules are done right around 25 pages. So maybe a little over half of this rule book isn't rules. It's Hints for players, scenarios, extended example play, designer notes, summary of important rules. So, for guys like me that tend to screw up the important rules. Alright, setup, setup card. I like having setup cards. These are nice. I mean, you have the setup information on the counter, but cards are nice. Because every time you set up the game, you're taking a de facto inventory of the game parts and that really helps for guys like me that are a little obsessive compulsive about completeness of game titles so, anyone else like that you just like setting it up just just to make sure you got all the pizzas i mean i might even not even play the game but let's set it up to make sure we got all the pieces yeah i should probably see help for that but anyway so i got a couple play aids here um Comment results table, few, few minor charts look like. Terrain looks like it plays a pretty big role. I mean, half of your charts is terrain stuff. Oh, look at this. Brace yourselves, guys. Brace yourselves. Everybody just buckle up. We got us some black SS counters. Looks like they even have like little, little symbols on them. And everybody just stay calm. Don't freak out. Just hold it together. Alright, very cool looking counters. This is the white core counters. Uh, I think Arden 44, the new one, I think had brown core. So this is back to the white core counters, which I think they had in the France 40. I don't remember on the new Ukraine 43 if it was a white core. I think it is. Um... I really don't have a preference either way, to be honest with you. But if you're wondering, these are the not quite as thick counters. There's pros and cons to both of them. See, in the white core counters, when when they punch out, they punch out evenly. There's no curling on the edges. With brown core, sometimes the square cut counters can kind of curl up a little bit, look fray apart a little bit on the corners. It's a very minor thing. But if there is a flaw to the thicker counters, that would be it. Alright, we got more SS stuff over here. So if you are easily offended by black SS counters, I highly recommend you look away. Alright, very cool. 
see we got brown brown counters for the uh for the british commonwealth green for the united states that's it's kind of cool and oh yeah we got red nato symbols for the airborne division blue for the 82nd black for screaming eagles love it very cool me likes this one all right we got a couple maps in here and uh Let's see how much table space this one takes up. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to stop the video and we'll, uh, we'll expand these maps so we can look at them. But first of all, I'll, I'll notice, or I want to po point out to your notice here, the, uh, the counter, uh, the hexes are going to, are going to be uh, a little bit bigger than what I was going to expect from, from this game, judging from the size of the counter. So we got, looks like a good amount of space in the hexes to accommodate those gorgeous counters. So it looks like a full sheet and then a half sheet are going to make for one long map. And if I'm not mistaken, the old Victory Games uh, Hell's Highway um, did something similar for uh, for the maps. So let me go ahead and unfold these maps and we'll take a look at that. Okay, I went ahead and unfolded the map. The amount of table space required by this was is less than what I was expecting. I was thinking this might stretch the... Uh, the, the length of my six-foot table here. I just got an ordinary folding table. And I thought it might go the full length of that, but in, turn, in, in actuality, the little map extension here, um, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't adjoin, you know, to the, right to the flush to the edge of the larger map. In fact, it's only extending uh, a small amount from, from the main map there. So there's a, there's actually a very large overlap uh, between the two maps. So there you go. That's your that's an idea of the table space required. So I think it's a really cool looking map. I like how it is organized. Um, I suppose that I would have preferred that this over here. Would have been over here, but I understand why they would why they'd have to do it uh, the way they did it. So it's just the way my game room is set up. I don't have a lot of room. Can't can't really move around the table all that well. But uh, there you go. That's that is uh, Holland forty four, which is bringing great joy to this Dutchman's soul here. Um, we'll have to get this guy on the table as soon as possible. Got some other games I've been wanting to play, but this one here I think is going to get expedited because uh, I really enjoy Mark's games, and this just looks so neat. So there you go. That's what comes inside the box. Looks like quite a neat package, and uh, hope you enjoy the video.